Hi everyone, let me introduce to you my friend Harry who is a speech robot. He will take us through the case study of pepper fry today. I will also be asking some questions to him then and there during this video in order to make this video look like an interactive session and also an interesting one for you. Harry, now it's over to you. Hi everyone. I am Harry. Today let's see the case study of Pepper Free on how Pepper Free emphasized the customer experience. This video also explains how this brand became the undisputed king of the online furniture business in India in a short span of time. I would request you to subscribe 5 minutes learning channel on YouTube and support me to post more such videos. Also by subscribing you can keep track of my video updates. For your better understanding, I have enabled this video with English subtitles. Now let's begin the case study. Pepperfray.com is one of the leaders in the Indian online furniture and home decor market, controlling around 50% of the total furniture market share of India. It was founded in 2011. Pepperfree serves over 500 cities and boasts of selling an item for every 25 seconds. In 2017, it also ventured into furniture rentals and exchange. Another milestone of Pepperfree is that it has managed to set up its own distribution network, comprising of over 400 vehicles, and subsequently has converted its logistics subsidiary, Pepcart into a logistics company. Harry, can you please explain us how Pepper Fry became a leader of furniture industry in India? When Pepper Fry was started, initially they offered a wide selection of products across multiple lifestyle categories. However, in April 2013 the company decided to reduce the number of products into only furniture, home decor and related products. During this decision, to move into the niche segment, it would have been a very tough decision for them to exit from segments that brought about 40% of the revenues for the company. But, their decision was based on an in-depth analysis of the metrics and market survey data. Some of their analysis are as follows. Food and grocery attracted major attention from the customers. Rest were distributed among the other verticals. Apparel was the most organized sector followed by food and telecom. It was clear from the retail industry snapshot that furniture segment was one of the most underperforming segment with least organization and it was dominated by a lot of local smaller players. Furniture was found to be a great segment to move into when there were very few players online. Also, market size of furniture grew at around 16% in 2011 to 2012, while other verticals grew between 12%. Founders saw the metrics indicating furniture segment has a bright future to start in India. 18 months after their decision of reducing the product range, they achieved a milestone of shipping, 1 lakh pieces of furniture. The biggest problem with the online furniture industry is the customer's hesitation in buying a product online, because of lack of clarity on its look, texture, and appearance. Also, customers are unwilling to make the purchase decisions, due to the uncertainty of whether a specific piece of furniture will fit in an already furnished house. The management at Pepper Free identified these pain points and acted on it by creating Studio Pepper Free. These studios are a one-stop shop for customers, whereby they can avail a host of solutions and recommendations from extremely qualified interior designers and architects. There are no salespersons in these studio. The main purpose of these studios was to give potential customers more insight into the products, and empower them to make more informed decisions without necessarily making a sale. Hence, these studios are experience and consulting centers, not sale points. 
These studios are now present in all major cities in India, and Pepper Free is really using them to create a fun brand image. These studios host some amazing events, right from dancing workshops to glass bottle cutting. There are also comedy shows and calligraphy workshops conducted. What a novel and wonderful way to connect with its customer base, and form a strong bond with its most relevant target group. Pepper Free is probably the only online furniture business that has managed to create its own robust logistics network, it does not depend on third-party logistics players for deliveries. It created a hub and spoke model, an integrated and centralized distribution system, through which the inventory is processed as well as consolidated, and subsequently, transported to warehouses, offices, or to customers. According to the COO, Ashish Shah, the logistics costs have been brought down to 8 to 10 percent from 20 to 25 percent of costs of goods sold, by optimizing cost and processes. Moreover, this process ensures that Pepper Free has more control over the quality of deliveries. Transporting large items is not the specialty of many logistics players and this can result in breakages of fragile products. However, by ensuring that it is in control of the delivery, Pepper Free can provide an enhanced experience to its customers. Significantly, while the global damage rate between the initiation of production and the delivery of the products to the customer is about 6%, while Pepper Freeze is at 2%. Additionally, this logistics system has massively reduced the delivery time of the products. In the Indian furniture market, there was a huge gap between what the customers desired and what was available on the market. For instance, nowadays most customers wanted modern and contemporary designs, which the traditional carpenters and stores were not able to provide them. Pepper Free exploited this gap and ensured that the customers received everything that they wished for. If you look at the website, you would see a variety designs to choose from. Right from contemporary designs to Indian ones. The new age customers, who long for customized designs are more than happy to grab such amazing designs. Another huge gap was between customer expectation and reality with respect to the timelines for delivery. A traditional carpenter would take, anywhere between 4 and 6 weeks to deliver a customized product. On the other hand, Pepper Free, as discussed earlier, has extremely prompt delivery times. Omnichannel retailing is becoming a common practice among retailers to address consumers' need, to have the convenience to choose the channel, irrespective of the retailer. Today's customers are omnipresent. They are present both online and offline and they expect the same from their brands. Pepper Free have gone omnichannel by opening bricks and mortar stores, and have received favorable results. Their bricks and mortar stores helped skeptical consumers to develop trust in the channel as they could touch and feel products before placing an order. Pepper Free has ensured that it is present where its customers are. By establishing multiple studios across the country along with serving online, Pepper Free has been successful in providing an omnichannel experience to its customers. Further, brick and mortar stores are likely to be useful for companies, in terms of inventory and stock management for their online arm combined with pickup locations, or exchange and return points for consumers. Pepper Free has never shied away from exploiting technological advancements to provide a great experience for its customers. For instance, it has created virtual tours of these studios for its customers, whereby they can experience the pleasures of shopping without having to travel to a physical store. Further. Pepper Free has made its online browsing experience extremely convenient and easy for the customers. The chief operating officer, Ashish Shah has maintained that the focus of the brand is to primarily build a great browsing experience.
with the online furniture market in India intensifying, only time will tell how Pepper Free maintains its dominant position. Harry, can you please tell us what are the 5C framework for a furniture startup? These are the construct recommended by the founders of Pepper Free, who want to build a startup in the furniture industry. First is catchment. Catchment is how many ways a customer can interact with you. It can be offline, online or mobile etc. And how do you keep expanding it? You should think about all the means by which the customer wants to interact with you and your existence in these space. Second is continuously look to serve new customer segments, it can be in two ways, either the same customer buy more products, or new customer buys products, which is referred as depth and width respectively. If we provide proper service we can get depth, but you should look out for serving new customer segments as well like serving millennials. Third area is community. Community is anybody who influence the course of direction of your business or influence the outcome of your business. The Pepper Free community includes architect, interior designers, who can be an influencer for Pepper Free. So think about how you grow and build a community on influencers. Fourth is content, create content that engages customers. Finally, building capabilities. Build knowledge, learn new things on going basis, and start defining and sharpening your culture in your organizations and build capabilities. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please support me by subscribing 5 Minutes Learning channel in YouTube. To keep in track of my new video updates. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, friends for watching this video. Signing off now. We'll see you soon in another case study with Harry.